All right, mathletes, we have finally made it to day two of our module lesson learning cycle. Uh, you will be logging into Zoom typically on these days uh, and see this screen, uh, this page up on your screen, which would be the solutions to the previous night's homework assignment. The assignment again, 1.1, num uh, page 10, numbers 3 through 17 odd, at which time you would want to, whoops, at which time you would want to, let's see if I could do this, I was practicing this a minute ago, at which time you would want to look at your homework and compare answers. So, oh, look how fancy, I'm gonna move to this side so you can see, there we go. Um, as you can see, I did, <laughs> not surprisingly, I got all the answers correct, um, uh, but during this time I uh, that you students are checking your answers, you want to make note of any questions you did get wrong. Try to figure them out. And if you can't figure them out on your own, you would just put into the Zoom chat which number you would want uh, me to go over, the teacher, me. Um, I will always give you a few minutes uh, to make sure that you have proper time to uh, to double check. But I'll say, are there any questions for the homework? If there are no questions because everyone got everything right or everyone figured everything out, then we're good to go. And we're going to move on to our homework quiz. So to do that, we're going to close. We're going to close. Oh, oh, now it did the thing I wanted to do earlier. That's fine. Split screen is crazy. All right, now we're going to close that. We're going to go back to the online textbook. That's right, we use it so much. That's why I want you guys to, I wanted you guys to practice logging in. So we're going to log in once again using my uh, student borrowed uh, account. And you will see here we have uh, ooh, I pushed it out twice to myself. So uh, my homework quizzes are titled M7 for math 7, 1.1. HWQ. So that's going to be the lesson number and the homework quiz uh, for which it's assigned. So you go here, click on start, and we are in. We are ready to take the homework quiz. Um, the homework quizzes are usually three to five questions. Uh, so uh, they should be uh, an assessment on your understanding of the lesson. Uh, so they involve at least one question from each different skill that we learned in the lesson, including the essential question. So that's why I make sure to assign the essential question every homework assignment. So the essential question is usually the first um, question on the homework quiz. I think a lot of you forgot this, but you can actually use your notes during the homework quizzes. So I could uh, open up my notes here. I can have my notes ready. Oh, stop that. Go back um, here in case I need to. Now I wanted to do that thing. Oh, yes. There we go. Now I, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just impressed myself live during this video. You witnessed it, folks. All right. So now we have access to my lesson notes and more importantly, the homework assignment. Again, completely open note, the homework quizzes. So you can use this to your advantage. Uh, so the question here is, how do you add integers with the same sign? Well, look at that. We just answered that question in the homework assignment last night. So we have drop down menus here. We haven't talked about multiplying yet, so I'm going to assume we're talking about adding. Adding their absolute values. That's correct. We want to add the absolute values of the integers and use the sign of the um, of the integers, uh, not opposites, because for this lesson, all the signs were the same. So use the sign of the integers as the sign of the sum. Since this is an addition problem, the result of an addition problem is sum, not product. That's module two when we get into multiplication. Okay, so now we're going to go over here to next. You see these two orange buttons at the bottom. Um, don't press turn it in because that will automatically submit your quiz for grading. What you want to do is click uh, if you if you are not going to finish a homework quiz and you want to save your product uh, your progress you would press save and close. But for now we want to go on to the next problem. You can either uh, press the next button or you can use these uh, numbers up here. I'm gonna use these ones since they're far away from the submit button, and I'm not even close to submitting uh, my homework quiz yet. So here we have find the sum. You may find using a number line helpful in solving this problem. For this problem, the number line is actually just there as a visual aid. We don't actually have to use it. Uh, what I might do actually is, if I can change this, Oh, uh, you know what I would do? I would do um, 
my problems, my uh, scratch work in my math notebook. But since I'm doing this all on my iPad and um, uh, I'm just going to go through these as if I already did the uh, the problem. So my answer, since we're adding two negatives, is going to be a negative, And the sum of 8 and 1 is 9. So that would be my answer for number 2. Number 3, uh, we're going to go with um, 118. And then for number 4, we're going to go with uh, negative 15. Now, I can go back to each and jump around and double check all my answers. And when I'm sure that I'm ready to go, now I'm going to press turn it in. So it'll take me back. I'm going to get rid of this now. Oh, we don't need to see that. Okay. It'll take me back to my dashboard page. What I want to do is refresh, or you'll see in the left uh, column now, under my progress reports, my results show up. And it says that I got 75%. Hmm, I wonder why. So I'm going to click on that homework quiz, and I'm going to press View. So now I can go, always allow pop-ups, um, like I mentioned in the last video, or two videos ago. Now I can look at my uh, results here. So it says I got six out of eight points. Each, pro each question is essentially worth two points. It says I got number three wrong. I'm curious to see why I got it wrong, so I'm going to click on the number three, and it'll open up my results. Ho-hum, look at that. The correct response should have been negative 118. I put positive 118. I forgot to put a negative. Darn it. Did I really, or was it an accident? Well, never know. So now that I see my results, I know that I uh, m I know what mistake I made. Now I since I and since I um, already submitted my completed homework, I am allowed to retake this homework quiz as many times as I want until I'm happy with my answer. So I'm going to close this, close my results, and look at that. Mr. Morita already pushed out a second retake of this, so I can start again and retake the homework quiz and hopefully get a better score. That's the whole point of this process, is to go through um, these problems, see what you know, see what you don't know, test it all out, and if you make any mistakes, go back and fix them. All right, let's go here. Ooh, this problem's different, as, as, uh, different from before, with just different numbers. So the math is still the same. I know it's going to be negative. 2 plus 4 is 6. Boom. Done. Let's go on to number 3. Ooh, this is that pesky problem I just got wrong. I know it's negative this time because both of the integers are negative, and when I add 25 and 81, I get 106. Boom. Let's go on to number 4. Uh, we have negative 14 plus negative 9. That's going to give us a grand total of negative 23. I am 100% confident that we are going to get a better score on this time uh, on this homework quiz. So I'm going to turn it in. And looky, looky, I got 100%. So you should be able to look and compare your old homework quiz scores with your new one. As soon as you get your new score, uh, just go to your Gmail, email me, and say, Mr. Marina, this is well, Kyle Morita from your Dunder Mifflin math class, I just got a new score on my 1.1 homework quiz, 100%. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Or something like that. You could just put, I got 100% on 1.1. Some students like to be friendly and all that kind of stuff. But that concludes the, uh, the learning cycle for our module 1.1 lesson. All of these steps are repeated the same exact steps, all this ed puzzle, the homework in your math notebook, the picture submitted to Google Classroom, and the homework quiz, every single lesson. So we would basically go back and repeat these steps for 1.2 and move forward through every lesson in the book. So I hope that this uh, series of um, video tutorials is very helpful to you students. If you ever need a refresher, make sure to find uh, these videos on my math uh, classroom website. And um, as always, if you ever have any questions or need any clarification, please email me. I'm always uh, happy 
to um, clear things up for you. Okay, uh, say goodbye to Pebbles. Bye, Pebbles, running around at uh, Sunny Hills. Uh, you guys have a great day wherever you are, wherever you're listening. Um, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.